Hey guys, Tyrep here bringing you a 4v4 today. We are on White Ball Express. Playing for today's spawning in the south, we've got Wink playing as Ossia and his loadout is Fish String Support. German Mechanized and Storm. Team up with him, Pig Face playing as Ossia, straight away locking into Elite Troops. Upa also playing as Ossia with Mechanized Assault. Assault Support and Jaeger Armor. Finally, Google Translate tells me this is Harmony War. Playing as Ossia, who has Jaeger Armor, Spearhead, and German Mechanized. Face off against them, we have Colorush playing as use forces, straight away locking into Airborne. Full Meal Jacket also playing as use forces with Infantry, Tactical Support, and Urban Assault. Rena playing as use forces with Airborne, Infantry, and urban assault and finally shock doctrine is soviets with armored assault shock motor heavy and soviet combined arms this is a patreon submitted game so if you uh, don't meet the rank requirements but you would like your game to be cast by me i'm a backer on there Details are in the video description below. But yeah, rankings here. Everybody basically is in the top 200 except for one player on each team. With around rank 800. It's a reasonably easy, even matchup, but uh, slight edge to the allies because Rena, I think, is rank 6. Which is uh, the highest rank by a decent margin. Oh boy, there is machine guns aplenty here. For the Axis, as you expect, with four Osseons on the field. Plenty of MG42s. And I haven't seen too many games on White Ball, but for a 4v4 map, it does seem quite narrow, so you expect a lot of support weapon camping with a lot of mortar wars, a lot of rocket artillery, assault guns. Seems kind of similar to Red Ball in terms of size, but without all the trees separating it into lanes. Oh. Okay, Wink losing his pies there. Bit of a mistake. Early bunker down here. He's going to be a command bunker as well. Interesting tactic to try and maintain some map control there for Pigface. Smoke to cap. Okay, nicely done. Double machine guns advancing here. So far, pretty even split of the territory. Both teams with a similar amount of fuel control. X is about to take control of double fuel, however. The Maxon's opening up. Getting some nice suppression here. Oh, and they jam the cap just before it completes. Now into a... Uh, Soviet mortar, and I do expect some pack alleys, some even US forces mortars. Can be really nice with coal rush. He has gone for a squad of pathfinders, so you have really long line of sight. So it can be nice for you know spotting the machine guns, targeting them with barrages, or just running around them. So you don't have to just constantly have squads retreating, running into machine guns. Is advancing here by the command bunker providing some nice forward control here for the axis on this side of the map and here we go very early pack alley for arena only going for two riflemen not not three two rifle tech allowing this super fast pack alley in fact going for double pack alleys but, you know, it does seem to be a very laney map i'm sure it's going to be uh, quite strong we'll leave the allies quite vulnerable to uh, a light vehicle on that side though because by going for two pack hours he's going to be a little bit too low on manpower to get an AT gun in time Chuck Doctrine could of course go for one though go for is this pack is trying to soften up these machine guns and we're getting uh, some attack. good damage in now guess that was a Soviet mortar flare here helping spot for the pack alleys Back on the other side. Holy oh, wire off here. In fact, wire trap going down for Yupa. 
Taking down three pieces of wire to make that. Oh, man, that is a bucket load of wire. These kind of buildings, if you just put wire down on the left door, just covering the left door, that will jam entrance from uh, that side. Those are uh, double door churches. Some of the one you'll see on uh, Lost Glider. Really is coming forward, looking for the decrow on the pack, are we? Two rifle grenades, clear it out. Now Grandy's on the run. M20 coming in, quite a late M20. Follow Rush having gone for, you know, a mortar as well as Pathfinders. Bit of a slow start to be going for the M20, honestly. But they might help fight back against the light vehicle. And here comes the Flamer half track. 50 cal. And the M20 does okay against light vehicles. So we also have a half track on the far side for Yupa. Doesn't have the munitions to upgrade it though. Maybe just going to use it for forward reinforcement and healing. Seems to be quite popular so far on this map. A uh, fine position down here, but starting to get bombed out by the opposing mortars. So a uh, bunker over here. So very, very static play in all directions. Got a blob of rifles for Full Metal Jacket, looking for an opportunity, looking for an angle through. And 20 coming in on the flank here. Doesn't have the skirts on it still. Luckily that Faust seemed to disappear there. So it should allow the M20 to get out. Flame half track meanwhile is taking quite a lot of damage. This is back here for Shock Doctrine. Some sort of save the day. Oh, Flame half track now for Harmony War going hunting for the ambulance. Ooh, he diverts his attention, going for the mortar team instead, and maybe missing out on the ambo kill. I feel like that was a high value target there. We lost an infantry unit. Oh, they got wiped out. Officer goes down for full metal jacket. Double pack out, he's doing one kill here, one on the other. Not so good, but maybe they got decrewed again. Flame half track. Make short work of that machine gun though, and the suppression is going to make it unable to recapture it here. And we're coming back, back to full strength. Is this coming forwards to meet it? My axe is getting really aggressive, pushing all the way forwards here. We have one pack in support as well, so they're not completely helpless against the Allied light vehicle push. You are floating a few too many resources here. Okay, double rifles coming forwards, looking for the snare. And they're going to connect a T gun. Doesn't quite have the angle, and then comes another flame half track on the rear of it. Oh, this could be trouble. Could set up for an attack round there, but does not. Whoa, conscripts came around the corner. How did this go down? Did he get hit by the pack alleys? I'm not sure. He saw two AT grenades connect with it, and that's not nearly enough damage. Ordinarily. Big hit from the pack alley. Could be a dead machine gun. Yeah, double pack how he's clearing that out super quickly. Oh, M20 goes down in the center. Ooh, doesn't quite get the cap off. Hey, a half track now. Very, very late for full meal jacket. And uh, has to his commander going for tactical support. And a uh, Stuart also quite late here for Cola Rush. Axis yeah, behind their uh, strong early control have put down a whole bunch of caches. Yupa doing that specifically. Yupa without many units at all though. Fast gonna connect here. 
recon plane up in the air for full metal jacket. These recon planes provide an enormous amount of sight from this commander. More sight than the average recon plane. That's why they cost more. Oh boy. Yeah, half track gets out of there. Flame half track. Avoiding the snare. His squad's going down. This barrage looks like the bunker's been cleared out. Tries to go for the recon on the machine gun. In fact, that's a Maxim. But it looks like it's not going to make it out of there. I don't even know if he started the retreat process. Plane allowing these allied mortars to do some good damage. Allies getting pushed back a little bit here. They've just had so little control on the far left side. Full metal jacket uh, struggling. Going for such a late. Hey, half track. AT gun ready. This is major in production now. But if you're going to go for a light vehicle, we should go for it as soon as you can get it. Or your opponents can really have a effective counter that would be very good fighting off those flame half tracks earlier on. Double pack how he's moving across more to the center now. Targeting this cluster of support weapons. There's so many here they get reinforced from the half track, but still a lot of manpower bleed being inflicted by these double pack houses now. And that is a super fast flak panzer for pig face on the back of those caches and strong fuel control from the axis especially on the left hand side I was in a little bit of trouble but flat pants is not the end of the world because the allies do have quite a few anti-tank guns what really devastate them right now is rocket artillery could you imagine like a werfer into this cluster almost guaranteed to get 10 kills So yeah, I generally do feel like a, a map this narrow does kind of encourage you into a more degenerate style where you're just going to go support weapons into late game. Not as much room for medium tanks to really maneuver. Smoke off here. Now he's going to charge through it. More is coming down on these support weapons here. Mage doesn't quite get the decor on the mortar. Ooh, pack going down though. That will in 1919s coming down this corridor. Oh, and they pick up an MG42. Is this coming around the corner? Gets the kill on the flame half track there. And yeah, and uh, Yupa, I think, has got the right idea into the Werfer. Also going for the artillery officer, so he might be able to use the double uh, barrage with that. Oh boy, Stuart going in deep here. Gets the reinforcement half track, and looks like it's going to make it out alive. We also have Harmony War going for a flak panzer here. Slightly later timing, but still could be strong. The T gun for full metal jacket having trouble okay connecting there and another AT gun behind that and the allied team weapon blom seems to be working there have uh, inched their way back onto the map here got some good kills and starting to decrow a lot of these axis support weapons now uh, big connection gets the decrew in fact he's gone for his double worthers straight away hey half track they're getting abandoned but we're trying to finish the job on it the Kachusha finishes the job on the pack 
Griff are coming in now. The pig face. Decent connection. Next for shock doctrine. Will it escape? Yep. Smoke out here to cover the capture. Interesting idea. Is the strafing run from Yupa coming through? Are getting the kill there. The, the allies do have quite a few commanders with uh, the Calliope, so they are pretty well equipped in these rocket artillery wars. I feel like the Calliope might even be like the best piece of rocket artillery at the moment. Maybe you're justified given it's. Uh, Late arrival. And you know, relatively high cost. Okay, T guns coming through the center. Pack is quite far back. Ooh, flak panzer. Getting out of there. We're getting the kill there before the Stuart goes down. Oh man, that is triple worth this. This could be devastating. Okay, one AT gun getting decrewed, but not, not quite as bad as it could have been. Oh, the broom bear through the center. Big connection. Let's force the rifles away there. He is trying to cap on the far side. It looks like they're going to be successful. Stuart can do some decent fighting against the Flak Panzer, but I'm not going to risk it. They're doing some heavy damage through the center. Chusha clearing out the MG42 back there. And now allies are advancing. Calliope coming up for full metal jacket. Rina going for the Jackson now. You can't play up in the air for the Axis. Perhaps spotting for those Werfers. They've got quite a few of them so far. Right, double Werfers. This could be devastating. Oh, Ambo goes down. But not that many uh, infantry models killed. Oh, Flak Panzer coming in now behind this, looking to do some damage. We've got double AT guns, but they might have their side blocked by these trees. And he's uh, not using attack ground. Now we're coming through. Not hitting too much, honestly. Oh, we're kind of running into the Glyphy Barrage here. He loses a pack because of it. Guys now coming through the center, looking for the kill on some of these decrewed support weapons. Ooh. Shock Doctrine taking the hammering there. His whiff is really starting to stack up the kill count. Double pack howies though, as long as they're safe. Those are looking good. And the Axis did leave themselves a little bit vulnerable, you know, after losing quite a few of their packs to artillery now. They don't really have an answer to this Sherman Stewart combo. So the officers charging forwards. Chusha coming in. Doesn't quite get the deco on the pack, but the Sherman is advancing. Connecting now. And then for the kill. Sherman trying to clear out the pack before he keeps going. Looks like he's just going to disengage here. Definitely could have uh, kept the aggression going. Oh, he's some big damage. Oh, 
Speaking of Howies. Howie uh, for the Axis is that Wink. Getting off to a great start. Nine kills already. Looks like it maybe took down a, a Zis. And the Ambulance. Really strong start there. Shock Doctrine does have IL-2 bombing in his commander though. Just needs some coordination from his US teammates with the Major Recon Pass to our spot. Or he could use it himself if he accumulates enough munitions. Okay, this time one of the pack alleys gets outright destroyed by the whiff. A really good scatter on those rockets. And now we've got a Boom Bear from Wink coming through. Once again, not very good anti-tank for the Axis on this side. Could just outright lose the Brumbia here to the Jackson if the Jackson's feeling aggressive enough. The Jackson and very timidly though. Coming through, not hitting too much this time. Targeted a little bit too deep. Stupid dive bomb over here did not get avoided. Looks like it did some uh, big damage too. A lot of falling corpses. Maybe took down a rear echelon squad. Now the Werfel with the follow up. Man. Metal jacket running on empty after those two artillery strikes. Let's do good eye bomb coming through. Some just gets out of there. Now Calliope. Decrew on these AT guns. There we go. Destroyed. We're coming forwards again. Jackson very far back. And misses its first shot. Now chasing in a little bit. Maybe feeling a little bit more bold after one of those uh, AT guns got destroyed. And that bold. Kachusha coming through looking for the kill on the remains. And a tiger on the far side for Yupa. Oh boy, in comes a Sherman in the SU-85 on the rear. Tiger overextending here. It's a big trouble. He'll go down. SU-85 just needs one more shot. He's trying to retreat through the smoke. No, SU-85 finishes the job. Tiger out of control. Doesn't get the kill on the Sherman. Sherman on the run. Strug missing the killing blow on it. Strug does not chase him any further. USF infantry chasing down these packs. Oh, Strug facing up the rear armor to the SU-85. SU-85 in some big trouble. I mean, uh, Strug in some big trouble. And, uh, some Howie fire back the other way from Shock Doctrine. Don't in this vicinity. Going for another Katusha now, just oh, in artillery. Mm -hmm. AT gun trying to get the capture there, goes down. VP's quite close, allies 100 behind at this stage. And another dive bomb, this time on the howitzer, destroys that quite quickly. Did not last long for Shock Doctrine. You have to expect Yegarm in these kind of team modes. Very hard for allies to get away with a stationary house like that. Jackson. Chased in, but decided to disengage when the threat of the Faust arrived. Now it's coming in here. Gotta be careful. Is. The area vacated. Ooh, managed to pick off the ambulance though. And now a Panther for Pigface. Some back there, Shreddy 5. Panther may be looking to get aggressive here. We do have one squad of conscripts there, but they get pinned. So wouldn't be available to smear. P47's coming in though for Cola Rush, forcing back. Panther. Oh. Coming in. Uh, 
artillery coming in. And then on the far side, Axis making a move, looking for the capture over there. Oh, Allies cap on the other side. Okay, advancing, he's ready, fires there to meet it, so it is a stolen pack. Oh boy, pop and smoke to escape. Pig face, he's got the Panther Tactician. Just burying forwards, looking for the snare. Ooh, Panther's gonna get away. Just need to disengage. Flak Panzer. Take them down. Jackson connecting, but there's not quite enough damage to finish off the Panther. If it took a rocket or something. Usual amount of health. Might be coming down. Oh, gets the kill on the MG there. Now, range is coming in behind that. Here comes Brumbia. But the Jackson is this time in position to return fire immediately. And AT gun going to get decrewed. This could be the green light for the Jackson to get a little bit more aggressive. The Stug is there, however. No supporting anti tank for US forces. More and more Arty coming down. Columbia in trouble. Down it goes, SU-85 picks it off. Jackson. Feels like the Allies are starting to amass a nice army here, starting to get things rolling. Seem to have a some reasonable uh, army size lead. Maybe by about 20 pop cap overall. A fresh Tiger Ace though. And a third Katusha coming in for Shock Doctrine. Be careful, like a raiding Panzer IV. Go hunting for these and probably find them quite easily, honestly. And mine's down from what I've seen from the Allies. Okay, second aid Jackson for Rena. So it's a little bit more anti tank now. For the allies. Oh, an elephant on the far side. Just trying to cap in the center here. Some artillery coming down. Oh, Jackson. The tricks there. The on the run. Our fighters go down. Now we've got some howitzer fire coming in, but we've got some calliope coming in the other direction. A few kills it looks like too. Might be Chusha. It's just a mess of artillery. Check on the ground. Oh, Kachusha catches them on retreat. Some carnage over here, a lot of US forces corpses. And now a tiger. Is that for Yupa? Oh, still in trouble. Double Jacksons. Double Jacksons on the chase. Oh, they miss the killing blow. We've got an AT gun back there. That, is that enough to deter Arena from chasing? Ooh, max range snipe. Ace coming across, but hits a uh, light AT mine, it looks like there. Should allow the Jacksons to get a couple hits on. Nope, he's pants tacticianing his way out of there. Very tactical. Team. C 
seems like Axis are uh, slightly hidden in terms of army size after spiking up in power with all those tigers and the elephant. Kill on the bunker there to keep that capture point open. Those strange were for, but paratroopers do survive it. But for how long? Tiger coming in for the wipe. Objection shots missed. Tiger missing. Killing blow though in return. Wipey targeting the MG, targeting the tiger. So it looks like a Katusha coming down there as well. Howitzer coming down over here gets the uh, D crew on the last pack Howitzer. We've been still alive though. Katusha coming through. G3 three squads in trouble. Got a stupid dive bomb coming down as well. Maybe on this machine gun. Didn't retreat in time. Oh, Calliope with the wipes. Some big damage. Issue 85 just sitting out here taking some pack shots. On the move now, though. Just that grenade. Punk out there doing some work, but in come the double Jacksons. Maybe going to get the kill on that. Yep. VP's much closer even now. Guys have been. Uh, Better on their control over the last 10 or so minutes. Now a lot of Axis armor on this far right side. Looks like the elephant is switching across to middle as well. How it's just coming down over here also. at bay. Well Jackson's advancing now and uh, grenade onto the AT gun as it tries to set up on the Jacksons gets decrewed. Jackson's one shot from getting the kill on the Brumbears pulling back now lining up on the Tiger P47s no oh yes both P47s P47s come down over here well, that's the R2 bombing run picks up a squad but does not get the Tiger Looks like the P47 is largely just used to try and force back these heavies in the center. Not really looking for any kills with them. We have a flak panzer that can shoot those down pretty quickly as well. Constitution not having too much. I'm lucky he doesn't have the machine gun, otherwise it would be revealing itself in the fog. Take an extra pass from the P47s there. Double Wurfers into the center, but not getting too many kills. Now going after the Maxim also the scatter. Very, very lucky there for Shock Doctrine. Wurfer coming down, not hitting too much. Same with the Howitzer. Chusha's back the other way. So it looks like it gets some nice connection. And a Panther for Wink. With a half track. One connection. Stubby's getting out of there. Doesn't like the sight of those Jacksons. Double Rangers advancing. It's charging forwards without the Brumbeer there. It is having trouble holding their ground and now Calliope into their retreat path. Oh! Big connection. They do survive. 
gonna double jack since we've got a fish panther over here. A T gun sitting up again. Jax is pulling back. Here though. A lot of shots tra trading on this far side. Oh boy, Panther forgotten about here for pig face. He's popping smoke, but Double Jax is coming in for the kill. And a blunder there from pig face. Not backing away far enough. And as soon as Panther. Looks like he also got maybe jammed on the territory flag. Fragmentation bombs came through. I think I got the D crew on one or maybe two of these Maxims. So main gun crew on the Easter 85 with that whiff brush. Okay, They're almost away. getting the kill on that MG. The drain is on the axis and now all of a sudden the allies are ahead. Seems like on, on the far left hand side. Harmony War is doing well holding it on very effectively but maybe he needs to come across to assist in the center a little bit more So P47s as the Tiger advances. Double Jacksons this time maybe could even go for the chase down. Paratroop is hanging on by a thread, reinforcing from the beacon. Tiger blitzing out to safety though. Does survive. He's getting aggressive here, but I don't think it's very good against the Double Jacksons. This Jackson lingering a little bit too long. Luckily the Ace misses the killing blow there. Is also backing away. Worth for coming through. That was from the uh, artillery officer calling an extra worth for barrage there. And some uh, munitions caches going down for the allies. Look at that. <laughs> how, how is he going to repair anything? Don't take damage for the. Pretty sure two squads just went down a little bit more damage as well. Big losses there for full metal jacket. Oh. Took a dive bomb on the ambo. Maybe even on the Calliope's. Well, well targeting Calliope's, he dodged just in the nick of time. You need a direct hit. Just took a dive bomb to kill those in one shot. Oh, Brumbeer goes down to the double triple Jacksons actually now. Black Panzer also in trouble goes down very very quickly. Rena finally accumulating a uh, formidable armor force here. It looks like a Shrek squad might have gone down there also. There's Shrek. Yeah, it's a fire coming through. He's coming quite far forwards here. Gonna go for a close ranger. He is on the retreat. Clippy uh, rocket scatters. Quite poor. He will just continue. He's very close to Vet 2 now. Try and attack ground through the trees unsuccessful, but the Vet 3 SU 85 now connecting. Ace on the run. Alpha coming very, very far forwards here. Pressing off the Jackson. Our enemy has only 200 points. 
Wow, a very forward uh, supply truck there for you to boost up his munitions. Here we go. Two Panthers and the Tiger here. Hax is looking to get aggressive. Four Jacksons are nearby though. Oh, and here come the triple Jacksons from Rena. This could be bad for the Axis. Another Wolf Rise getting some kill. Looks like it may be something killed. Goliath back there. Oh, here we go. Triple Jacksons. Tigers is like, oh boy, I don't want any of that. Smoke's trying to escape. A lot of attack rounds missing here. There's nothing to stop the Triple Jacksons. E47 has taken down that Tiger, Ace in trouble, rocket artillery flying down, and that is a lot of tanks going down for the Axis, I think getting aggressive, and they pick off the V3 SU-85, now maybe looking for a clean up on a couple of these low health Jacksons, just chasing in main gun crit on one of them, oh, snipes off a Werfer in the distance, one Jackson, oh not quite dead actually. Sneaking away around the corner. Stug over here though. He really needs to get this kill and he does. Actually a fresh Jackson coming through. All three of Renia's Jacksons do go down but they do a lot of damage in the process. Stug advancing, maybe hoping to clear up while the tank destroyers are away. And uh, oh, doesn't quite get the kill. It's the VET 3 health bonus coming through there. It's it out of a two shot range once it gets VET 3. So like some of the other half tracks doesn't have smoke or anything to escape with. Already flying down. We'll take a look at the uh, army sizes. Most of the axis are around 50, apart from uh, Harmony War, who's at close to 100 back the other way. We've got 50, 70, 60, 80. So it does appear to be a popcat lead for the allies right now. Maybe the axis are going to be a little bit directionless without the heavy tanks him being on cooldown at the moment. Often getting very, very far forwards here. If he takes a snare, could easily go down to the double Jackson flank. He's feeling quite bold with the recon plane up in the air, providing that sight without the a half track to shoot that down anymore. And then oh, plane crash. Fresh, you know, a freshly repaired Panther for Yupa. Uh, might find the Calliope. Calliope coming in for a close range wipe, but does not quite get it. And now, vulnerable to the Panther. We've got a Jackson back there, though. Calliope can take one more hit. Panther wants to secure the kill. But he gets around the corner. Attack round misses, and now in comes a second Jackson. Panther blitzing away, hoping to escape. Might be able to Stug coming in from the side, deterring the other Jackson from chasing. This Jackson still needs another shot to get the kill. And he maybe loses sight. Katusha coming down, almost knocking out the Werfer there. Gets away to safety. Stug going for some attack grounds through the building here. Should then get him out. That's a lot of worth of damage. Coming down in a pretty good area. Oh man, it's just a non stop <laughs> rocket artillery spam. 
hard to keep track of them all. I desensitized them. Look at this one for you for 70 kills. Take a look at some of the others. 14 here. 6 on this one. How are we doing? Only two kills, really? I think it killed at some stage and I missed it. Looks like it. That's the second howitzer. So we went down to the uh, IL-2 bombing strike. How's this one doing? 47, pretty good there for pig face. Little jacket, I think we saw his one earlier. 16. Lena at 29 nearly. Shock Doctrine has 12, 16, 26. The Werfers seem to be the star of the show at the moment. Two of them at around 50 plus. Very, very impressive. Walk oh, Jackson. Be careful here. Low on health. And a fresh broom beer for Wink. Oh, Stug finally feels bold enough to come around the corner and go hunting for this chair and it's been parked there the whole game. Trying to hide in the smoke. We've got the Jackson back there but it's not firing because of the smoke. And then come the P-47s. And now Stug on the run. Looks like it will survive one more shot potentially. Yep, just. P-47s didn't quite do enough damage. No double Panthers going hunting looking for this highly vetted Jackson. It's abandoned the other Jackson back there, chipping him for some more damage. Uh, Stug going down here, double Jackson's looking for the Panther kill on the far side, SU-85, very low. Here we go, Panther goes down, will the Jackson survive? Double Jackson still on the offensive, no, nope. pulling back now, Calliope targeting the AT gun. Jackson going after the Brumbeer. Oh, Stug's from the side, Brumbeer goes down. A T gun setting up but not quite getting the shots in. Can the Jackson escape the Strug Panther combo? No. Meanwhile, this double Panther team goes on a uh, deep dive. But ends up going down. Did he get any of those scots? No, I'm not sure what he got done with that double Panther dive. Oh, here's actually the other Panther. Looks off the Ambo and the Calliope. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm getting away. See so some heavy casualties on both sides there. Take a look at army sizes again. 50, 75, 50, 80, 50, 90, 26, 68. Seems like Axis in the lead now. Rena taking a hammering there with the double Jacksons and the Calliope all going down at once. Bunch of stuff with those barrages. Good to go. Hey, half track back up. Healthy. Is that an IL 2 bombing run in the back? down the panther and all the repairing pioneers it looks like devastating shell oh, is, that is that friendly fire oh, 
Has in control on the VPs with about a 50 point lead at this stage. Still a very tight game. This one's down, range is running right into them here. Oof! Okay, double Panthers for Pigface looking to get aggressive here. Got one Jackson and this 85 there to meet them. Stubb also advancing. Nice, do they have the uh, tank destroying capabilities to deal with this? Not right now. Panthers pulling back here, allowing these 60 range tank destroyers to get a few free hits in. The 50 range Panthers. Be a big one. Double ranges with Zooks. They dodge away. In fact, goes for the hard retreat there just to guarantee it. She should target in the bunker area. Easily get the kill and maybe even wipe out this AT gun. Okay, Boom Beer, Elephant Combo getting aggressive again, back up to fighting form. After all those repairs. Out there on the far side. And X is making a dash for this VP. Not very well protected right now. Going forwards, looks like it's going for the AT gun up here. We spotted thanks to the spotting scopes. Yeah, ooh, taking some damage from that M1. Vested up, he's making use of both the AP ammo and the take aim. Oof. Coming in. That was the artillery officer, mortar barrage getting dropped there, clearing out that MG. The complain and gets shot down almost immediately. The T gun getting finished off by the Jackson. And the Allies going for the capture again on the far left. And the AT gun once again. Ooh, and this time it gets annihilated. Just got wiped out. Over here. And the capping squads. They survive. Just trying to go for a grenade there, but get pinned so quickly. Getting aggressive here. Upon a grenade. Oh, senior guard. Oh boy! Let's go down. Boom bear very, very low though. And there we go. The bazooka squads chasing down these panthers, but the uh, double suppression here. Locking them out of chasing in any further. S-85 trying to clear out the bunker. A T gun sitting up on the S-85 now. Okay, going to go down though. Smoke coming in. We just really want to continue advancing. Stug and S-85 duking it out. So the elephant got forced back on the far side. And yeah, the pinning planes coming through. Finally forcing back the ranges. and how to fire raining down. But now is in control of the VPs. Axis. About to tick under 100. Oh boy, double Panthers. That's the SU-85 unsupported. Take it down quickly. Low out of the SU-85 chasing in, but this is risky against triple Panthers here. Oh, and he advanced a little bit too far. That requires some extremely good luck. Well, Panther misses one shot. Another Panther missing shot. That might have even been targeting the infantry, not on prioritized vehicles with either of these right now. Keeps missing. But he could be shooting at the combat engineers. In fact, I think he is. Not using prioritized vehicles. Big mistake there from Pigface. Okay, 
the central VP is neutral. Axis have managed to cap on the far left. Allies on the drain now. Sides. The artillery wars back on. Okay, the R2 bombing coming in. Avoided. Chusha coming in the same area though. A lot of east mines down here, but attack grounding them with the bazookas to clear them out. Nice idea there from Rena, who seems to have just gone 100% into ranges here. Remember this is like the rank 6 player I think it was. Oh, the Werfer in the white. Oh man, so much manpower bleed on these ranges. The G43's coming around the corner forcing their retreat once and for all. Triple Jackson's here. Always taking down the Panther. Now pulling back. The enemy is taking our territory. Through the center. Oh, Jackson's looking to get the kill on the Brumbeer, but backs around the building. Very passive play with the elephant so far though, I have to say. He's kept it aligned nicely, but hasn't done as much damage as he could have. The triple Panthers looking to get some more damage done. Three Jacksons there, and here they come. He's ready five Jacksons doing some good damage. And just back at base at the moment, no support from them. Damage being split on all the Panthers at the moment. You want to focus down one tank at a time if possible. So we might be able to take down one panther here. Not smoke, attack round. It's really far coming in from the side, but the smoke is enough to keep these panthers alive. No! It's really five kills this one. Okay, that's, that's a pretty good trade. Panther for a... Uh, Jackson. Good trade for the allies. Ready 5 advancing here, looking to take down the Stub, but taking a lot of damage. And dying, in fact. Ready 5 on the run now. Oh, B-47s targeting the heavy armor here. How many more on the run? And now he's advancing triple Jacksons. Don't really have anything to clear out the pack. Ready 5 goes down to the Stud, I imagine. Maybe this AT gun even. Oh, I'm not hitting too much. When we go down to the P47s there, maybe with some assistance from the uh, bazookas. advancing again clear out the bunker elephant back there connecting big now it's a clearing out the AT gun back there didn't quite clear out the pack either with those M1919 squads which is a shame wow well, rangers is doing small arms damage to all the workers fresh ace for pig face after losing one of those panthers in trouble, you heard the announcer, 75 VPs. Need to get this one going, need to capture some territory. Elephant coming across to the far side this time. Triple Jackson's getting aggressive, clearing out the bunkers while it's away. And maybe going, uh... Rocket artillery hunting. There we go, one Werfer goes down. Elephant getting aggressive here, pushing through the center. 
spot anything right now though. We are losing Sultan. And the triple Jackson's pulling back now after killing. Oh, we for coming through. Go oh, that Sherman camp there finally goes down. Elephant getting an angle on it. His 5 also low in trouble. Elephant, no, Elephant misses. I'm pretty sure they would have got the kill at that amount of health, too. Not sure exactly what that's targeting. Maybe the Scots. Some decent damage to them, but probably near the kill. Oh, triple bazooka rangers sprinting forwards, looking for the kill on the ace. Pop smoke though, trying to escape. Oh, but here come the Jacksons on the other side. Looks like uh, two of them have gone down. The third one also about to fall. But here come the Bazookas, and they take down the Elephant. One squad rangers does go down to the Bumbia though. Could lose another potentially. Hard to buy him just to make sure he couldn't repair up the abandoned Elephant. Now Panther's looking to strike back. And they're going to take a snare. We've got a Jackson over here as well. Could lose one of the Panthers now. So he's just flying down in both directions. And there we go. Panther does go down. Didn't back it away far enough. Although I'm missing the return fire. Got a snare on that one. He might even be able to kill that too. Oh, just getting in on the flank here, carrying out these support weapons. Machine gun changing directions, but suppressed. I don't know how effective it's going to be. Okay, well, there's a lot of access armor in one spot. P47's coming through. Double Panthers sprinting forwards, looking for the SU-85. Not on prioritized vehicles, though. Another mistake. Ready 5 looks in trouble. We've got a Jackson back here assisting. Where are those rangers though? They need those bazookas. Panthers missing a couple crucial shots. Allowing the SU-85 to survive even longer. And here comes more support. The SU-85 does go down, but now the Panthers in trouble. Got a whole bunch of Jacksons nearby. One Panther down. Can the other one escape? Up in smoke now. Can it Oh, one more shot and that's going to be it. Triple Jackson's finished the job and Pigface just throwing his Panthers there. Diving in for a little result and once again making a mistake, not activating. The uh, prioritized vehicles on his Panthers. Using the turret to face the wrong way on a couple of occasions, maybe forcing him to dive deeper than he would have wanted to. down to the P47s earlier. Gonna be a very very low to the bazookas. They're hanging on the VP. Pioneer's not doing enough damage. Though the bazooka range is also not very strong. On the run from the SU-85. Oh, Ace coming forward to meet it though. Max is looking for the capture, but in comes the Calliope from the side and the Katusha from the other side. Oh, this is too much artillery. Axis cannot complete the capture in the center. Ace and Panther though going hunting. Take out one of the Scots. Might be able to get another one here. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to get the Jacksons though. I think they're a little bit too far away. They split in forwards. There goes the Scott and the Panther continuing the chase after the Jacksons, but this is 2v1. I don't think he wants to mess with them. Here comes the SU-85 on the rear now. Oh, targeting the Tiger though instead of the Panther. Panther blitzing around the corner, but it's going to take engine damage from the conscripts. Now the Panther is in trouble. And 
Panther goes down, doesn't get the issue 85. Unlucky, the turret just spinning the wrong way. Face direction. And now the drain on the allies, but they are trying to get this VP on the far side. Panther coming in for some crush action. Some decent work. Oh, I've got another bunker on that far corner. Needs those bazookas. Okay, fresh elephant now. Can that be the game decider for the Axis? and control the VPs. 14 left for the Axis. They need to make it happen now. Chusha coming in. Oh. Is that a howitzer shell? They're clearing out the machine gun. Oh, the bazookas doing so much damage. Smoke on the bunker. So just going after the Bumbia now. And it looks like the Axis are going to throw in the towel. They just can't get any of the points captured right now. And the Allies take the game. Oh, just a constant arty war there. Pretty much as expected. Uh, interesting transition late game into just like mass bazooka ranges. Actually working out pretty well for Rena this game, which is uh, nice to see. And yeah, maybe just a few slightly too many reckless dives from the Axis with their Panthers without enough results. And I also think uh, Harmony War. Did a pretty good job locking down this VP for a long time, but the elephant didn't get that much done in the large time it was on the field. Maybe needs to work on using that a little bit more efficiently. But overall, a chaotic match. Pretty good handling of the Jacksons all around by the uh, allies, though. It was nice to see. I'll wrap on that, guys. If you like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you off the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.